Welcome in and welcome. Today's recipe is all about the salmon. Here in the Faroe Islands, half of the export is salmon. So we know our salmon. This one is sushi grade. That means that you can eat it just out of the ocean. If you buy a regular salmon, you have to freeze it for minus 18 degrees for five days or minus 20 degrees for one day. But as I said, this one, you can eat it as it is. I want to make a recipe that's inspired by Sweden. It's called rimning, which is equal parts of sugar and salt, and you cure it overnight, so it gets this, this, this pure taste of salmon. And I want to make it with um, asparagus, and a poached egg, and some rye bread, and some herbs. So I just take the salmon, and I pour equal parts of sugar, and salt, and I mix it together, and then pour it over. Um, it's a bit windy, but that helps me <laughs> today. I, um, I pour the sugar and salt on both sides. And as we do in television, I made one in advance. Here you can see the difference between the salmon. It is more firm than this one, and it actually changes the color as well. I really want to eat this, but I have to get the groceries ready first. So now I'll slice the salmon. So the salt and the sugar will break down the fibers in the flesh and cook it. So you can say that's cold cooked. I have to taste it. It's beautiful, huh? Not too sweet, not too salty. It's just got this pure, pure taste of smooth salmon. Really, really good. It just looks so beautiful, huh? So the asparagus is the first greeting of spring. One of the best vegetables from Mother Nature. I just love the asparagus season. So a few of them I will blanch, but um, I'll take some of them and um, make some really, really fine, uh, shall we call it sticks of asparagus. And when they get into icy water, they should curl and become really, really firm. I'll just set that aside and then I will blanch the asparagus. So it just takes about 15 seconds and then uh, they're not tender, but they have a good crunch. We're done now and you can see the colors. It's turned really, really green. huh? And then you stop it. Next up is the rye bread. It's got an acidity to it, the rye bread. And when I pan fry it in butter, all the nutty flavors, they come out. So it's supposed to be a bit crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. The French have a word for brown butter is beurre nucette. That's perfect French. And um, that combined with the nutty, dark flavors of the rye bread will be like a contrast to all the fresh things. Oh, fantastic aroma. A little bit of salt over this. And then on this paper here. So that was it. Now for the herbs. I take some shallots and then parsley. And I'll glaze it in um, white wine and butter. Done. For the sauce, I want um, to make a poached egg because that's fatty and it's a really good sauce for fish as well. I add first salt and then a little bit of vinegar. And then I just turn off the heat and I pour in the egg. And I make a swirl in the water. So the idea is that the egg comes in the center here. And then gets perfect and round. I'll just leave the egg in the hot water for about three minutes. As much as I like Rimmat Lux, I really like the caramelization of salmon on a hot pan. So I'll just give it a little sear. I don't want to turn the salmon, just to give it a little bit of those caramelized notes to the taste. Now it's ready. 
Perfect. In the same pan, I put butter and then a little bit of white wine. Just give this a little bit of heat and then the coating of the butter and the white wine. Tiny bit of salt. Then we're ready for the shallots and the parsley. And that was it. And now I'll start plating. I start with the egg, the poached egg. And then the asparagus. Then the salmon. some rye bread, some dill, and the raw asparagus, crudité, red currants, and then I have some wood sorrel. So here you have it, salt and sugar cured salmon fairway style, it's sushi great, and I just caramelized it on the pan. We have asparagus, crunchy rye bread, red currants, wood sorrel, and dill. Well gagnest. So this is the payoff. Mmm, the creamy egg, and the pure taste of the salmon, crunchy rye bread. <laughs> oh my god, this is good. This is just so good. I actually think that you should try it. <laughs> You'll find this recipe, more recipes and information about seafood from the Faroe Islands at faroeseafood.com.